Well, welcome back everybody, it's me, GSD, and today, we're back again with some more Y2K. Uh, I guess we gotta go into the- how am I doing for health? We are alright. We're all- we're all good. And XP-wise, I think we don't need to go to the dungeon. Yeah, we can't. We fought enough peeps. There's a couple places here that we didn't go, which is through the graveyard to the other side, but I don't know if I need to go to the other side. So instead of doing that, hey, wait, wait, wait. Did we go down this way? Yeah, we did. So instead of doing that, and over here, right? There's nothing over here. Just gotta be thorough. Just gotta check, just in case. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm not going through there just yet. I'm gonna go into the mansion or the house, wherever. We got the key, I believe. Okay, let's go through the front right here. The gate is resting one bunch. Okay, so let's go through the side <laughs> right here. Open. There we go. Town music is pretty okay. There's nothing hidden in here, right? Interact with A. That's just for the door, I assume. Gotta look around some more first. Wait, what? Knock? I knocked, but no one answered. Perhaps I should try the other side door. I gotta make sure that there's nothing else. Okay, I guess I can't go through there. So let's go in. Interact. Well, I guess this is the place. So, do we just knock? Let's give it a try. Worst comes to worst, he's sleeping and we wake him up. Who are you guys? I'm Alex. I come from the internet. Oh. One sec, come in. What? So, hey. Yeah. I'm Rory, but you probably figured that much out on your own. If not, why would I be letting you into my room? Anyway, what are your names? I'm Alex. This is Vela and Michael. No, I mean, what are your screen names? That's how I know all of you, so that'll be more beneficial. Oh, I'm SNES Man 99 I think that's the first time I've had to say that out loud. Uh, Michael is Veriformer, and Vela isn't cool enough to go on the message board. <laughs> hey, aren't you that girl? The one from Windway 87's post about the girl who's ripping up holes in reality in his town? I am. But don't believe everything you read on the internet. You boys take that stuff too seriously. Hey, I invented lying on the internet, so no need to warn me. Anyway, I'll have my eyes on you. Don't need you ripping a hole in my basement with your mind powers or whatever the hell it is you do. Sound powers. Well, then just remain on my good side. So, Rory, tell us about your sister. When did she disappear? My sister. She vanished about three weeks ago. Went to school one day, left school, and now she's gone. No crazy elevator video of her either. She's just gone. Hmm. Oh, did your parents get the police involved? No. My parents aren't exactly what you call proactive. They aren't the types that jump to their kids' defense when they're in trouble. Do you think it would be okay if we talked to them? No, that wouldn't be okay. It's complicated. I see. Well, who else knows that she's missing? This is extremely serious. A teenage girl goes missing and someone needs to be doing something about it. Yeah, but it's... Yeah. Okay, you're right. Where do we begin? Well, my sister Carrie started acting weird a few months back. She was having trouble with some girls at school, but nothing she couldn't handle. So one day, things get really weird when I find her in the attic. She was holding some of her baby toys, stuff that's been boxed up for years. I asked her what she was doing and she said she needed them for gifts. Gifts for kids who had less than she did. So then she left. She took seven things with her. After she vanished, I went around looking for her and I found her toys scattered everywhere. Anyway, the weird thing is, each place a toy was found, an accident happened there shortly after. Hmm. Cursed. 
One of the toys was left at an underpass, and the next day, a kid was killed when a car hit him. And I know that sounds like a coincidence, but then at a train station, a woman was robbed, and the guy who grabbed her purse ran into the tracks and got hit by, not the train, but a cop car that lost control and plowed into him. Anyway, this old lady had a heart attack and died the next day at the grocery store right on top of a sewage cap where another toy had been found. You can't tell me all of that is a coincidence. Did anything happen to you personally when you went to these locations? Were you the one who found the toys? I... yeah... yeah to both. But let me... okay, let's just go to the places. I think it would be best for me to show you myself. We're enjoying the party? What? When we finally left Rory's house, it was evening. I got folly. You in the party? Dang! What skills do you got, Roar? Why is your HP down? 14 of 60. What happened to you? Swap Rory's HP and PP values. Uh, excuse me? Yeah. Do it now. Do it now. Whatever. That'd be a good way to get like a quick heal off or a quick top up with the PP. Let's equip you with some shh. Open your eyes to the sign of the times. I ain't got no hats. I got a flannel shirt for you. I got... Mm, let's give you the gold bracelet since you be switching up your values like that. That'd be pretty good, right? Hint. Follow Rory around ruin town pretend he's making sense. <laughs> okay. No! Not they. Let me get the cat. There we go. You can have both out at the same time? Work? Get rid of that. Bring you out. Panda, panda, panda. Can I go back in the house and just, like, explore his shh real quick? I want to see if there's anything to steal. No. Okay. Let's go, Roar. Uh... What's going on? Why is nobody looking at what's happening in the background there? Guys. Come on. Huh. Wow, this game looking good. Okay, Roar. I guess I gotta talk to you. I have this theory about physicality and the nature of our universe. It has a lot to do with the temporal nature of our bodies. Basically, I think we all have a set number of days to be in our bodies, and they usually end with our bodies being destroyed. But sometimes, very rarely, we leave our bodies without dying. What exactly happened here, Rory? What makes you say this? Okay, forget that for now. I can't explain it right now. Let's continue the tour. Huh. Okay, what's up, Roar? The elemental composition of the human body can be looked at from the point of view of either mass composition or atomic composition. The adult male human body is approximately 57% water, and water is 11% hydrogen by mass, but 67% if you count atoms. Most of the mass of the human body is oxygen, but most of the atoms in the human body are hydrogen atoms. What we love to forget is the soul when we talk about our makeup. I don't really believe in souls in a religious sense. I like to think about the soul as our mind. Have you ever imagined what it would be like if we successfully performed a brain transplant, but when the person woke up, they were exactly the same? Like, the brain is a physical part of the conscious, but the moment it's in a new body, the old soul brain or whatever enters back into the body and poof, we're back to being ourselves. Do people really know that the brain contains our thoughts? Yeah, and before you tell me about the science behind it, I know you're right. I just think about this from time to time. You're a bit off on both your science and metaphysics, but you're onto something. Vela didn't shoot him down. She didn't mock him. In my head, the rational part of my brain was already thinking of a variety of corrections to his ideas. His sister's missing. 
that after this week, I knew pretty much anything was possible. Yeah. Plus, she can rip through holes in time. What could you do? Throw a cat. Play with I your panda toy. Okay, let's go to the next spot. I'll try there. What are you trying to do? Alright, dude. What are you trying to show me? Sometimes it feels like my sister is still in her room upstairs. And I don't mean to suggest that I forget that she isn't there. It goes beyond that. There are times where I feel like she's physically there. Like, in the same way I can feel my foot is attached to my leg without actually having to touch it with my hand. But she isn't here right now. There is one more place we can check. Let's go back to the overpass. I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna beat him. I might not beat him. Damn it! Just don't turn. Uh, no, no, I got turned! Okay, there we go. I beat him. By a little bit. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I win. I win. I win, dog. Oh, this is where the lady died? This, the super grade over here? This is right. I think I can do it here. Okay, someone lift the sewer cat with me. You want to go down there? Yes, I think that would be a good idea. Boys, give him a hand. Gross. Okay, so what I'm about to say might sound crazy, but I can prove my theory down here. I think my sister's soul is down here, so... Let's look for her. Rory, I think you might be a bit... Okay, no, this will be fine. Let's look for her. I just want you to prepare yourself that what you find down here might not be her. Whatever, but I know it's her. That music, though. Okay, so let me save that real quick, because that was a lot. Of talking. Don't need to go to the mine dungeon. Just need to save that up right here. Yes, I would like to save my data. Call again, sand. Thank you, pops. All right. Can I drop in the water? No. Okay, good. So this door over here I can go through there. I can enter, but I want to fight this thing over here. Looks like some puzzles. Come here. Oh, that music is different. Consider getting your micronutrients tested to see if you're getting all your nutrients. Oh yeah, I remember these, but wait. Samurai tortoise. Oh, it's a ninja turtle spoon. <laughs> okay, we'll go we're gonna hit up the pool. Skills. What we got? We got smooth jazz, we got panda B, LP toss. We got an AoE attack right here. Let's do that. I don't think I've done this one yet here. The hell do I got? Oh! LP? Oh. Right in the manhole. Right yeah. in the manhole. Yeah. It's a hard little mini game. Crap. Yes. That was close. I don't want to waste the time energy on that. Well, maybe I'll try it. Crap. It's a gross. See, that one I can get. Got my time energy back. Look at that skill. Okay, skills. You got AoE, right? Go to shoot. Go ham. Shot. D oh, so it's points for four. My skill is lacking on this. Vela, what we got with you? We got banish. We don't need to do that. We need to hit. Who's who's the closest? You the closest to die. Get him. Let's 
skills. Do you have any AOE? HP? Mm, no. There's pacifism? Protect an ally. Aw, oh, man, you suck. <laughs> I don't want to... I guess protect the... Uh... Oh, that's why you swap your HP. Protect... Alex. Alex! I've got your back. Okay, Alex. Let's try that again. I can't do that, can I? Okay. <laughs> Michael, he's like a truck. It's the use. Eleven dollars. Nice. Okay. The hell is this? Enter A. Oh, it's a door. Hmm. Can't go there. Can't. Oh. I have something that should help us clear these rocks. It's a tool called AMP. I'm gonna lend you this one. Th I'm gonna lend you this old bass. Crank it up to 11 and strum the strings and la dee da the rocks will explode. Obtain AMP, finally. So, AMP? Cool. I think I know how to get that treasure box. Nope. Like, no. Nice. Inside the chest. Top hat, y'all, and eleven dollars. I don't want to go there just yet. There's no point. I won't be able to get back. It's locked. I don't have the key. Oh, I, I can just climb up. Okay, stuff dies and it's permanently dead. Dead. Let's save, save, just in case. Give me a second. Let's go through this door first. It's just an outhouse. Inspect. Uh oh. Good thing I saved. <laughs> They're like Splinter, I guess. Ah! Oh. Jeez. Some of these things are just a little too strong. There's nothing in there. This is the battle. That sucks. Okay. I need healage. Save that real quick. I feel like these battles are so long that I need to save just like every time I finish one. I'm gonna try something out here. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I get a dad. Thanks. Let me see something. Status. How close are we to? We can do one mine dungeon floor, but I need to see something. What do you got? You got. Hook hands. It's for strength, right? I'm trying to make him stronger. I mean, Alex kind of sucks. Why he hit so light? I mean, I could just do this. Fight you. Dungeon key. I mean, I'll fight you again. Oh, I could just do that. I'll fight you. Come here. I need the XP. There's different ones? Samurai Toyotas with the red pants. That's Raph. Damn, that was a quick draw. Nice. Slap him up. Vela, finish the jab. Shablam. You're damn right it's dead. Turkey sandwich, great. Okay. Let me check something out. Status. Do I have 200? Oh. Oh. So, I might as well go to the mine dungeon real quick. Give me a second. I'm gonna start putting some stuff into strength for Alex. Seem that plus three down there, I want that. Let's go. Strength. Let's go. 
speed. And PP. My luck was so good. Give me that luck. And we got a skill. Gotta learn healing song. Good, nice. Okay, we got the dungeon key. We good to go. It looks like the mine dungeon heals you when you go in there, but it didn't heal Rory. Maybe it's because his base HP is 15. Hmm. Whatever. All right, I'm ready to explore more. Jump down. Open that B up. You like these? Yes, I saved. Everybody's healed up. Everybody got their level up. Dropping the base. Slapping the base. Slapping the base. Slapping the base. More. Jeez. Too much base. Not enough treble. Save your spot. I know. I learned my dang lesson. You save this. What will you do? I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that right here. Even though I saved before. So, yeah. Nice. Bye. Do I get all these skills? I've got a tool that will help you here. I think. It's called Hair Whip. It's my signature move. Basically, you let your bangs fall into your eyes and jerk your head forward while torquing your shoulders. If you do this just right, you should be able to cut through small bushes. Obtained hair whip. The art of the hair flip. Cut down trees while looking cool. <laughs> Switch up to the cat. You got a lot of skills. Some Luffy-esque. Luffy uh, asked. Just money. It's okay. We uh, base drop that. So how many more do I need? I got one more skill. Bam. Slice. Cat. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, I can probably do it from the other side. Wait. There's a treasure can over here. Turkey sandwich lemonade. Alright. Give me this first. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. I got... Landrol AX7 Kitar. You know what I was gonna do too was... I can't switch them, right? Skills? I can switch them in battle. I can't do it here. Equipment. Bella. Land roll. Hey, I'm all about that. Fight me. You have nothing that will help me. Banish is just for mind stuff. This is for healing. So let's just hit regularly. Let's hit up you because I'm tired of your shit. Oh, there's an extra button there? Oh. Try that out. She's hitting hard now. Samurai Rat, let me see this. Four hit combo. Slap him up. Oh, you should be dead by now. Okay, good. Pacifism. On Bella. Me. Oh, Bella. Okay. Let's heal that up just in case we run into anything shady. PP on you. PP on you. And let me see here. We got cheeseburger. Cheeseburg. You too. Jeez. Let's go. I'll fight you. Alright, so I'm gonna have to take some damage, I guess. Oh. Let me get that first. No, on my kitty. I got old dun another dungeon key. I can't go up, right? It's because that nastiness is gooping up in there. How about you stay away? 
right now. Let me bam. walk through do that. Do that. I'll do this on the way back. What? Phew. Hair toss that. Slash. Data. Oh, can I charge it? Oh, no. Okay. Hit that. Should be good. Gross. Get out of here. Should go and save real quick. Let me see something. I'm mind dodging it, so I get a free heal. Give me a second. See that three right there? This is like the prime one right here. If I did this, how much? Four. Oof. Get a bonus of one. I'd rather go strength. That and then do the bonus for the other ones, but we should probably do PP and speed. Do luck, get that extra. We're fine for HP, things aren't still killing me just yet. Rory found skill icon, protest. Nice. Okay, did all that, healed all up. Yeah, his HP is go back to base, which is fine. All right, get me out of here. I saved, good to go. I think this might be a boss. We won't know until we get in there. Yes, use the dungeon key. If you're hearing a faint click, the key snaps. This is a trap. This is a trap. Oh, this place is a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. Give me this. Smelling salts. What's with the door's colors? Unless there's a switch for it. Yeah, I need three keys. Crack? What? Uh, I don't need any... Cut eight, two, two, one. I think we're okay. We don't need any of this stuff. Combat? What are you telling me about combat? It's a good idea to get acquainted with all of your skills. For example, did you know that Vela has a skill called Banish that can expel an entity from combat without killing it? Yeah, but I thought that only worked for certain things. Uh, skills. We got protest as well. What is protest? Fight for what you believe in. Chance of lowering an enemy's luck. You know I'm all about that look. I don't see any trash things. Jump. Let's go in here first. Whoa. Cat it up. Shablam. It's weird that golf cap. It's weird that I'm seeing the turtle on the map itself instead of just a regular ass dude. Fitted ball cap. Let's equip that stuff. What do we got? You need a hat. We got top hat. HP and defense. Defense and luck. Defense, luck, and speed. That's going to Alex. This is going to you because you need the most defense. You're my my shield. Golf cap. All right, we're good with that. Nope. Bam. Bam. Oh, you're not gonna let me go. Okay, I guess I gotta fight you. Hey, man. Edgar Degas. Edgar Degas. Art is not what you see, but what you make others see. Just like my radical blade. I'm gonna finish this up real quick. Give me this. Making me work so hard for this. Got a key. Silver key. Goodbye, little mouse. What else we got? We got to flip our hair from back and forth. Uh, here we go. Slash. <laughs> Green door. 
see. I, I mean, I mean, let me see. Sneak attack, sneak attack, sneak attack. What about sneak? Are you kidding me? You gonna make me do this? All right. All right. Hey. Choose only one bodacious master. Ass kicking. Oh, thank God, it's just one of them. I can take care of you in one turn. It's okay. Ah, right in the manhole! Get him, Vela. Get him, Michael. Don't lose, Michael. Don't lose. Oh, what? I hit that. He's dead anyway. Right in the manhole. A hundred dollars. Wow. Turtle paying off. I got green key. Nice. Let's head back. Don't mimic, don't mimic, don't mimic. Nice, 20. I don't need to fight you, right? The treasure chest is literally right over there. I can just cat this up. I guess I can't. Okay, I guess I gotta fight you. You're not gonna go through, okay. Hey, dude. God, I love being an adolescent monstrosity samurai tortoise. Hundred dollars from each of them, that's not bad. Give me that. Put the key. Nice. Get me out of here. Wish I didn't have to see this animation every time I climbed up these dang ladders. Alright. We got all the keys. I'm not gonna go to the mine dungeon because there's no point in me going there one at a time. It takes so long. So what I'm gonna do is heal up. Right, with some food, some deliciousness. PP wise, I mean, the PP attacks are not as strong as everybody else's attacks. So let's save this. Let's head in there. This looks like a boss ass battle about to happen. Save that. Productive, productive dungeon. We got a couple uh, levels. Doors unlocked. Use. Use and use. All right, get me in. Get me in. Get me in. Oh, it's you. I got banish you. Is that why they were giving me the skill? Oh, Rory, you are so wrong. So wrong. Can't you see her too? That's my sister! That's Carrie! Oh shit! It's an entity! We need to get the hell out of here! Wait. We need to remain calm. We need to try and talk to him. Carrie! Carrie! I brought some friends. This is Alex, Michael, and Bella. They're gonna help us. Rory, that isn't your sister. It's... Shut up! That's Carrie! Can't you feel it? It's so familiar. I can prove it. She understands what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking. This guy's gonna die. To anyone. Trust me, it's her! Rory. That's not Rory. That's you. What? What? What the hell are you talking about? That's your soul survivor. Your spirit, your consciousness. How can that be? I'm right here! Bella, what the hell is going on? You need to explain this. Rory, what really happened to your sister? Something about your story doesn't add up. Let me hear the truth. Rory, please! 
I'm here to help you. Did your sister really vanish? No. She... She jumped off the overpass. Rory, that's... That's terrible. Why... Did she do it? What the hell kind of question is that? It was those bastards at school. Stupid shitty girls always ragging on her, going out of their way to make her feel bad. Picking on her for being my sister. Ugh! This is all my fault. It's all because of me. Because of what I'm like. You know? How did you find this place, Rory? When did you first see your soul survivor? It was two weeks after she died. I found her things. I came down there thinking she fell down. Or something. I don't know. And then... I thought... I thought about dying too. I wanted to die. I needed to get away from this world. I needed to find her. But you knew she was dead, didn't you? Of course. But I... It's okay. You can tell me. I'm not judging anything you say here. Tell me all of it. I surrendered myself to the ether. To the realm outside of this one. You know what I'm talking about, don't you, Bella? I do. Go on. What happened when you left your body? I didn't get far. I separated from my physical form, and then I saw my body and my sister. What you say is me. Did you leave the Earth? I was so close. I was so far away. And then I saw it. The sole survivor. The entity. Whatever the hell you called it. Rory. Please listen to me carefully. You left your body when you surrendered yourself to your misery. You abandoned this physical form. And your soul was about to enter the soul space. But what you saw was not your sister. That soul over there is not hers. It is yours. I've traveled the soul space, and I understand what I am seeing when I look at the entities. I see the marks of your soul, and I can tell you that that is another you. Somewhere out there in the soul space, this you left his world and stumbled on yours. That's you from another plane. It's likely it was experiencing the same suffering as you. What? I don't understand. Fella, can you please explain what's going on here? Pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. I understand what you were feeling. This depression is unbearable. I can't take it anymore. The depression pain part is an unavoidable reality. But whether or not you can overcome it is up to you. You decide if you're going to keep going. Your sister is gone. There's no changing that. But traveling the soul space is incredibly dangerous. And if you're not careful, you'll end up like him. You can't help but feel the pain. But you can get through the suffering. That will go away. Look, I know it's easy for me to say. I'm not the one whose sister is dead. But you have to understand that I am telling you the true reality of the situation. You're playing with some otherworldly dangers here. Oh no. Is that... Damn it! Guys, we need to run! Bella, will you tell me what the hell is going on? What is all this about? I think it's a golden alpaca. Damn it, we need to what? run! Come on, let's get it! <laughs> what? A golden alpaca? <laughs> Don't kill me. Wait, what? Limited. Oh crap. Just missed. Ah. How hard do you hit? Nine damage. Level ten, level one. Can I can't fight the soul survivors, but I could fight the alpaca, right? Okay, five hits is respectful. It's gonna take some doing. Vanish. Vanish! Yeah. What do I gotta do? Press A to attack? I win. Get out of here. Oh, 
floor 11 of the mine dungeon. I can't hit them, right? Like, B, B, A. Protected by some unknown corpse. Okay, so I can't fight it. I'm gonna protect Michael. Michael! Soul Survivor B. Okay, everybody hit this thing. It's a golden ass alpaca. Why is it so dangerous? More majestic than dangerous, if you ask me. 12 hit damage? Good hit, Alex. Finally, you're doing something right. Hit him up with the guitar. Give him a good slap. You too. Slap him up. Slap, slap. Skills. Spread the. Let's swap our HP. Stat swap. Stat swap. Get rid of them then. It looks like a gross. <laughs> crap. Crap. I just need one to be gone, right? <laughs> Item. Let's see here. PP. What the hell is going on? Oh my god. Panda's still protecting me, but god dang, that thing's messed up. It's level 13 now? Skills. Just to be safe. We'll do panda protection one more time. Yeah, everybody's got it. Nice. He's gonna bring back. Oh. Hit him up! Get him going. Take care of that! 100 XP, 2 XP for battle. Oh my god, that fight was so long. 50 bucks. Okay, what the hell was that thing? Why did we have to kill it? And what is going on? I've been sitting here for 30 minutes while you and Rory talked in riddles and ignored my questions! This is insane! What is a soul survivor? Calm down, Alex. I'll explain it now. I haven't been intentionally leaving you in the dark, so don't act like I'm some anime character. Oh, man, just... This is too much. Deep breaths, Alex. Michael's taking this better than you are. By now you've seen enough visual proof that what I am going to tell you isn't a lie. I need you to understand that I don't have all the answers. I can only say what I know to be true from my experiences. I get it. Spit it out already, Bella. What you just saw was a soul survivor, or an entity. Both names are accepted. These beings are a visual representation of a soul that has escaped from its body. You see, it is entirely possible for a human being to separate their soul from their body. In doing so, you leave behind your physical form, and more often, you can't retrieve it. The separation of mind, or soul if you will, from the body, can only be achieved by accepting an existence of a non-physical nature. A human usually stumbles on this facet of reality after undergoing a transformation of a grave nature. In Rory's case, it was the loss of his sister that pushed him towards exchanging his physical nature for a metaphysical one. This is where things are about to get strange, so please bear with me. Our souls do not belong to ourselves, in the traditional sense of the word. Our souls are shared by otherworldly versions of you, me, and everyone else. There is an Alex out there. In another world, 
who has the same soul but different life experiences. A soul survivor is a soul that has left his physical form as well as his reality and entered into a world where a physical version of his or her soul already exists. Normally, when you abandon your physical form, you become an omnipotent entity who exists just in their own reality. You can't return to your body once you've left it behind. Soul survivors are souls whose realities have been destroyed and they manage to leave their reality in hope of finding a physical form. So that being right there is Rory, a different Rory, one whose reality was destroyed and he's attempted to find a physical reality to exist in. But how do you know all this? Because I have left my physical body, surfed and explored the soul space and come to understand the nature of the universe. But you have a physical form. How did you return to your body when you say it isn't possible? This is not my reality, Alex. There was another me here, and she left. I was able to take her physical space because her soul had already left this world. And what is the soul space? The soul space is... How do I explain this? Okay. Imagine a ring. In this ring is a series of worlds. When one world is destroyed, the soul space shrinks and the ring gets smaller. When a soul leaves their location in the soul space, another soul of the same origin, like another me, can take its place and regain physical form. This is crazy. How did you figure all this out? That's personal. Look, what leads people to find the soul space is different for each person, and I'm not going to share that with you. This is all fine and shit, but it doesn't bring my sister back. Soul space, minds, realities, all that shit. Who even cares? Rory, it's okay. Take a deep breath with me. Cut it with the deep breaths. This isn't okay. L let's get out of the sewer. I can explain this better in the fresh air. Oh. Another one of these. We hear a faint electrical crackling, and a hint of life crosses behind the eyes of the sleeping figure. But as soon as it appears, it fades imperceptibly to a flicker. We confer on our thoughts on the machine and decide that there is activity inside of its circuits. We refrain from referring to it as alive, as logic and science dictate that this is only an emulation of life. This creature has no feelings, no desires, no wants. The following week or so, my mood was strangely languid and serene. Fellow's words buzzed in my ears, like a bee hovering around my head. It was waiting to sting, waiting to have its full impact. From my bedroom window, you could see blooming green leaves of summer popping up here and there on the rolling suburban hills, their branches reaching up to the sky like magic ropes. I hadn't spoken with Michael, Vela, or Rory in almost eight days. Michael was stuck in his house, pretending to study for finals. And taking her cue from the other women in my life, Vela vanished. I had gone to the Franklin Arcade hoping to see her each day, but she wasn't around. I spoke with her manager, a Korean man, about Vela and Sammy, but he offered very little information. She said she needed to take some time off, so I gave it to her. Lots of help, thank you. See you later, jackass. I hadn't spoken with Rory since that night either. As soon as we got out, Vela went into depth on her soul survivors and metaphysics, and he ran off saying he needed to clear his head. And just like that, all alone again. I listened to cassette tapes of old music, Callum Bowen, Nico Sekalakos, <laughs> Andrew Allenson. Callum Bowen, y'all. I listened to the soaring strings and strangely syncopated bass line of Symphony 7 in the E flat by Andrew Allenson. I replayed that night in my head. I believed Bella. I shouldn't have. It sounded like pseudo religious bullshit. But I had seen the soul survivor with my own eyes. And I had seen Sammy vanish into the abyss of what looked like our universe. Where had she gone? Sammy. You missed her. I didn't know her really, but I felt like I did. In the unreal twilight hours, in between sleep and waking, she slipped into my dreams, got tangled in my thoughts. 
like the blankets tangled between my legs, her brain melting with mine. In the dreams, we didn't speak. In the dreams, we didn't do much of anything. I could just feel that she was there and that she understood. She had to still be out there. Out there in the soul space, maybe. Shit. Okay, so listen up. Since a soul survivor has spent a lot of time down here, it's likely we're going to find some very strange things. Let's call them, um, breaks in reality. I don't understand how I got back here. You may have seen some before, so relax. Don't freak out if you see them. Our goal is to get outside where we can talk safely. Why would you play that scene before I get out of here? Anyway, that's a little confusing, but we'll get out of this stink hole next time with some more Y2K. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'll be back again with some more Y2K.